Phil, back on the road this weekend, looking to make it three wins on the bounce away from home, playing South End. What do you expect to see from them? Yeah, quite a few changes from uh, last year. Um, I had an okay start, I would say. Um, last couple of games, they'll be disappointed they didn't get more from them. Um, but yeah, we've got quite a lot of options in terms of forward areas. And um, yeah, building up our knowledge on, on their players and, and the way they've been playing over the last couple of days. And obviously, we're looking to continue from where we left off at the, on Tuesday night. Like you mentioned, they're in a rich vein of form at the moment. How's preparation been in terms of the getting ready for this game? Obviously, it's been a reserve game mm -hmm. as well in that as well. Yeah, well, we played the reserve game yesterday. And um, then the lads who played in that have had a lighter session today. The ones who played Tuesday have obviously um, had a more extensive training session. And then we all travel down on the coach tomorrow. And we're going to train down in the London area. And um, some of what we did quite a lot last year were it just gives you the opportunity to beat the traffic and, and get down there and get in the hotel as early as we can. So the lads are rested up because um, you know, one of the most important things in football is being physically prepared, tactically, you know, we, we can work on them in terms of team meetings, etc. But physically being ready to, to reproduce another performance is key. So we've got to do everything in that the preparation to, to enable the lads to be in, in the best possible condition. Now football is obviously a squad game. How important is it having the reserve team this year and getting competitive minutes in the last belt? Yeah, I think for me it was a progression we needed to, to make because um, for, for several reasons. I felt last year that we had players out of the team who didn't get enough game time and you know, we tried to arrange games and we couldn't always do that for, for various reasons. So that's the first reason. The second one is that um, you know, we've got six players we gave pro contracts to and they needed a team to play in or it was, they're not going to progress as players. Uh, and obviously thirdly then the under 18 group um, the better ones in that group need to have a target, you know, a, a gap between where they were playing and, and the first team. So, you know, I'm pleased we, we've joined the league and it's a good league as well. The, the game yesterday we, we lost, but, you know, we were really competitive in that game yesterday. Um, should have got something out of the game, we had several good chances. Um, but the most important thing is the standard of the game and the pace of the game. So obviously we get the GPS data on that and we can see how hard the young players have had to work and how close their, their data is to what where they need to be at first team level. So that's really important and there's going to be some weeks the team will be younger um, and we may get beat at times heavily um, but I'm not concerned about that. What If the team is a young team, um, what we're looking at as a staff is the young players are um, if the under 18s step up, you know, how they look in, in that company of established um, under 23 teams around this area. So yeah, so there's a lot of benefits from it and um, I thought yesterday was a, was a good benchmark for us and uh, we go again next week. I suppose for some of those younger players it's a good pathway and a clear one. You look at players like Max Clareworth and Jordan Davis who've been there and done that and they can show that ultimately there is progression into the first team as well. That's right, there's, there's opportunities and um, you know, we want to see those players who, who are good enough to, to get in and around the, the squad and you know, the, the, the league, the, the youth team playing on a Wednesday at the moment is not stretching those players enough to, for us to be able to judge that. So yeah, it's good, good for the lads and also as well if, you, if you're a player and you train every day and you haven't got that game time and you can lose a bit of motivation and I don't want that to happen. I want the, the young players to, to have a, a goal during the week or, or every other week, whatever, whenever the games come, where they can really focus on. And, um, you know, Dave Jones is going to oversee that team and um, yeah, try and help develop those young players. And just to go back to this weekend's fixture against Southend, how much are you looking forward to seeing the lads get back out there after such a good run of performances? Well, of course, we, you know, we're confident and I you know, feel that, you know, looking at the lads today, they're already ready for, for the uh, action at the weekend. And uh, you know, I've always enjoyed going to Roots Hall, it's a good atmosphere, it's a tight ground, the supporters will be right behind their team and I'd imagine it'll be one of the biggest crowds they've had so far this season at home. 
but yeah, that's great. We're looking forward to that, and uh, we need to bring our A game to the table. And um, you know, we always stress to the lads that you know, away from home, it does take that extra bit of concentration, um, that extra togetherness you need to get results on the travels, you know, which we've shown at Dorking and Woking over the last couple of games. And uh, there's three points at stake for the weekend. You know, we've got to give everything we possibly can out of the pitch to make sure we're back on the coach uh, with, with those points. Nice and cheers, folks.